Stage four and the final stage of the Santos Women's Tour Down Under after a gruelling week of racing for the peloton. The ladies head out on course for 46 kilometres and 20 laps of racing on a Camise style 2.3 kilometre lap. There were four intermediate sprints along the way. Not too many turns, not a technical course for the riders to battle and head out on course. It was a reasonably slow start for the main bunch but there was a little bit of early action with Carly Taylor taking her chance to attack off the front. Local rider Carly Taylor, the 28-year-old, she's been racing professionally for seven years now and she's retiring at the end of this race. The peloton didn't seem too interested in chasing, I think out of a mark of respect for the wonderful career that Carly Taylor has had and what a way to go out in front of a home crowd in Adelaide City Centre. She'll be a personality that will definitely be missed in the professional peloton. Good for Carly Taylor to have her day in the sun. The bunch, they rolled through at a fairly conservative pace to start on the very wide circuit around Adelaide City Centre, but it wasn't long before the pace picked up. The blistering pace wasn't the only challenge for the riders as a bit of drama hit the race. Yeah, just girls just decked it in front of me and I literally had nowhere to go. I think I ran into Amanda Spratt, so I hope she's feeling okay. Well, Spratt started the day with a 29 second lead. All she needed to do was stay safe. She looked to be fine as she joined back on her bike, perhaps a little bit rattled. I was really shaken up and um, Anamik stopped, Jess stopped and they were just with me and they just said, look, just try to calm down, um, follow my wheel and it's just, yeah, I can't thank them enough. Well, Spratt rejoined the race with the help of her teammates. They were chasing the overall victory and Amanda Spratt needed to stay safe. The pace remained relentless as the teams headed into the final sprint with the team stringing out the race, protecting and riding for their sprinters. Mitchelton Scott taking a very good role to keep Amanda safe Spratt after the earlier scare. But it was some of the local teams, UniSA, who also had the priority of the green jersey for Katrin Garfoot. It came down to a feverish bunch sprint and Chloe Hoskins takes us through the final. I went pretty early, like I didn't want to wait for Nettie to jump. Uh, I just sort of said, you know, bad word, it, and just went for it. And I could see a shadow coming, which I think turned out to be Gio Bronzini. Um, but yeah, I held her off and um, yeah, I got the win. So I'm yeah, relieved. I think that was the first win of the season, so that's ticked. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're Italian, so we celebrate very loudly. Uh, uh, I crashed in the race, so I'm in the, I, I think I'm running on a bit of adrenaline right now. And now I'm starting to realise what's hurting. Uh, I'm just super happy to get a win, obviously. I'm so glad that my team comes out and supports me over here. You know, January is super important for me, trying to qualify for the Commonwealth Games. And if they weren't here, I don't know if I'd be racing. So I'm very lucky, like... I think I fell on my feet with this team and yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Amanda Spratt retained the Okra jersey for the overall win with Lauren Stevens coming in second place and Katrin Garfoot for third. Yeah, I'm so happy and it's thanks to these girls. They did an amazing job um, over the last uh, few days and um, great win for the team.